Hello everyone and welcome to my bold and beautiful today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Carter makes a confession to hope and Taylor defeats after seeing asterisk this asterisk Friday, September 27, 2024 moment on the bold and the beautiful, Carter makes a concession to hope, Steffi issues a warning and Rich rushes to Taylor's deliverance. At Forrester Creations, in the confidentially area, Eric tells everyone that RJ and Zend have assembled some new footage for a new Brooks bedroom videotape. Hope is thrilled to hear that the lead songster from the band, Kaleo, will be re-photographing his part of the videotape moment. She offers to companion JJ down there, but Steffi tells her she doesn't have to do that. She warns Hope that Finn's a addict of Kaleo and will be there, admire my marriage, Hope. After, Carter asks Hope if she's okay. She wants to put Steffi out of her mind and concentrate on the Icelandic gemstone star. Hope Steffi BNB in the main office, Steffi's surprised when Taylor comes by. She warns her there's a Brooks bedroom shoot moment, and this may be the last place she'll want to be. Taylor asks if Finn will be there. Steffi says he is, and she's formerly advised Hope to stay down from her hubby. Taylor counsels her to be careful and cover her marriage. Steffi asks her mama if she's sure she wants to stick around and watch Brooke in her undergarments being celebrated by Ridge. She puts a live sluice of the confidentially area on screen for Taylor to watch and also takes off. She urges her mama to stay out of the salon. In the confidentially area, Finn arrives and Hope greets him. She heard he's a big Kaleo addict. Finn's supposition Steffi told her and asks where his woman went. Hope teases him. Will he fanboy out and ask for an signature? Finn jokes about having an in with an advanced up to hitch an invite. Hard, Bridget arrives and Brooke prodigies if she's more agitated about her line or the collaboration with JJ Bridge laughs, can it be a little bit of both? Bridget Carter Brooke Ridge BNB Carter and Bridget converse with Brooke and Ridge, and Carter learns that Bridget is musketeers with the Icelandic rocker and his appearance is thanks to her. Bridget hopes it works out. Steffi walks in with JJ, who hugs Bridget and introduces him to Carter, Ridge, and Brooke. JJ tells Brooke they've a collective friend he and Andrea Bocelli go way back. Jockle Julius and Hope way forward, and the Joe says he's a huge addict of her line and her communication. Hope gushes that his music will be the perfect pairing for her mama S line. Steffi takes JJ to meet Eric and Finn and leaves them talking. She catches Hope gaping at Finn and walks over to defy her about it. However, you stay down from my hubby if you want to keep your line. We don't want a reprise of what happened during Danny Romilotti's song. Hope walks off and Ridge declares that it's time. Finn joins Steffi and says it was kinda sick to meet the rocker. Steffi tells Finn that Hope is too big a addict not of Kaleo, but of him. Jockle Juliessen Finn Steffi Eric BNB in the design office, Hope stresses out and flashes to kissing Finn. Carter comes by and says it looked like she had another run heft with Steffi. Hope asks him what he actually thinks about her line. He loves it. It's her, and she puts it out into the world. He's been allowing about it a lot, and he has a crazy idea. Hope is open to suggestions, please. Carter warns it's further of an idea for her than her line. Jacqueline McInnes Woods' real-life Mr. Right in the main office, Taylor watches Brooke and Ridge kiss and spoon in the confidentially area on the screen. JJ starts playing his song and videotape footage of Brooke in lingerie plays on big defenses behind him. Jockle Juliusson watching the performance, Steffi and Finn smile and hold hands. Eric and the others beam as they take it all in. When JJ wraps up the tune, everyone jumps to their bases, saluting madly. Finn, Steffi, Bridget, Eric, Brooke, Ridge BNB in the main office, Taylor rushes out, putatively worried. In the design office, Hope asks Carter, so, you've been allowing about me. He says he has he has an idea to help her line. Hope tells him not to leave her in suspension. He thinks he could subsidize on the success of her mama's bedroom line by being frontal and center. Hope gops. Does he mean by modeling lingerie? Carter shrugs, if you can't beat M, join M. Hope laughs, so you've been allowing about me modeling lingerie. 
Carter nods, shamefaced as charged. He asks, too important? She smiles, I didn't say that. Finn and Steffi enter the main office with him gushing about how cool the performance was. She seems off, so he asks if she's okay. Steffi doesn't like the way Hope looks at him. Finn says it doesn't matter, he only had eyes for her. They kiss. In the confidentially area, Brooke tells JJ how inconceivable he was. He hopes to see them all at the musicale tonight. Bridget and Eric walk the rocker out. Brooke smiles to Ridge, could that have gone any more? Taylor arrives, behind a curtain, as Brooke tells Ridge they'll celebrate that night in the bedroom. They make plans to leave the musicale beforehand and make out. Taylor's heart beats uncomfortably and she holds her casket. Brooke walks off and Taylor collapses, pulling the curtain down with her. Ridge rushes over, Taylor. Hey, Taylor. Are you all right? Taylor Brooke Logan can't contend with dying Taylor Brooke Logan can't contend with dying Taylor. The bold and the beautiful observers are still reeling from the lemon Taylor Hayes dropped last week on the CBS cleaner. Steffi Forrester's mama is dying on heart failure and doesn't have important time left. Then's what's coming up next on BNB, spoilers ahead. It's only a matter of time before Taylor's secret gets out, and Brooke Logan will also be fighting a losing battle. Nothing can contend with a dying woman for a man's heart. Especially dying Taylor, she looks great considering she's knocking on death's door. The Bold and the Beautiful spoilers, Taylor Hayes' death secret right now on The Bold and the Beautiful, nothing knows that Taylor is on her last leg except Dr. Lee Finnegan. Still, her secret won't be safe for long. BNB spoilers Brooke Logan cannot contend with dying Taylor, Steffi Forrester and John Finnegan are growing suspicious of their uncommunicative maters. One of them is going to crack Taylor's secret soon and news will spread. Brooke Logan is preparing for another grand battle over Ridge Forrester. Despite Brooke's sunny disposition and sparky station, it's Demitas clear that the former couple still has passions for each other. It doesn't help that their son Steffi wants to get indeed with the Logan women and is shamelessly encouraging her parents to get back together indeed though Ridge is married to Brooke. Brooke is formerly losing the war against Taylor for Ridge, absence makes the heart grow fonder and Ridge missed his ex-wife. When Ridge learns that Taylor's days are numbered, he'll want to spend every waking moment with his former love and that means Brooke will be transferred up the creek without a paddle. BNB spoilers, another couple exchange coming in all fairness, Brooke has had Ridge for quite a while now. It's only right that she gives Taylor another turn with their hubby if she's getting ready to check out. Who do you suppose belongs with Ridge? Will Brooke be suitable to hold a candle to Taylor if she's dying? Brooke Logan's bedroom gets a musical score. Fresh off a visit from rocker Danny Romalotti and his gal, Christine Blair Williams, the Foresters and Logans get to play suckers again when Icelandic songster Jockel Juliessen, also known as JJ, arrives to be the musical incident for a Brooke's bedroom photo shoot. The Logan sisters will get to fangirl again as JJ and his band, Kaleo, sing their hit song Way Down We Go. Indeed, Bridget Forrester is back on the scene to support her mama on her rearmost lingerie line bed. BNB spoilers, the photoshoot brings drama and angst when Steffi Forrester Finnegan learns that Hope Logan and John Finn Finnegan are both Kaleo suckers, she's jealous. Hope and Finn can now partake commodity that Steffi and Finn cannot. Will Hope do anything crazy when this musical guest is there? When Danny sang Rock On, she seized Finn, pulled him away, and kissed him. It didn't go veritably well, so she might want to lay off the champagne this time. Forrester Creations gets ultra-modern with this photo shoot and live aqueducts it on social media. When Taylor Hayes watches the sluice, she can see how close the music brings Brooke Logan and Ridge Forrester. Although Taylor will always love Ridge, she knows it's stylish that he be happy with Brooke. After all, she's dying and Ridge deserves to partake his life with someone who'll always love him. Taylor knows that person is Brooke, but it doesn't mean it's not painful to see them together. Will Taylor eventually decide to confess what's going on with her? Eric Forrester did this just last time and she knows how important it hurt everyone to not know the verity. Why would she do this to them again? It doesn't indeed feel like Taylor.